Hello. I mentioned before that I was thinking of using breadth first search to find the best path from the head of the snake to the food when the food appears each time. And I've been playing around with that and I've implemented something. But I think I may abandon it because it really doesn't do much better than the approach I have just exploring on X and Y and Z. And if there's a an obstacle, just randomly choosing one of the possibilities. But I wanted to just show this to you anyway. Um, from running the program, it appears to be the same. It's acting pretty much the same way. But the difference is when the food appears, the program uses a breadth first search to fully find the complete path. Let's talk about how this works. When the food appears, we do this breadth first search on the space of possible moves. And it works like this. From this position, there are five places we can go. And so let this top node represent the starting position. And then imagine there are five children underneath here at level one. We'll call this level zero. And so we put them in a queue. We have one loop. It's not a recursive algorithm. And we actually, here, why don't I just show you the pseudocode, because this is the way it works. Um, I would direct you to this Wikipedia page or many other computer science books, articles, blogs, web pages that will explain this algorithm. But rather than following down the depth of the tree of possible moves, we explore the, we fully explore level one before we go to level two and level three and so on. Um, why don't we take a quick look at the code? I don't want to try to explain it too much, um, partly because I may be abandoning it. But I did do something new in here, which was to use TypeScript instead of JavaScript for one part of the code. I have a file called Pathfinder that has this Pathfinder class in it. And you, if you're not familiar with TypeScript, think of it as JavaScript with some types added to it. And if you know Python with the typing hints, this is the same kind of thing. And so the picture you saw from Wikipedia showed those nodes in a graph. And our nodes look like this. We need to know who the, what the parent node is and what the direction was that got us to this node and then where we are in the space. So what should I say about this? Again, probably not a whole lot. This is the find shortest method of this class. And you give it the starting position, which is the head of the snake, and the ending position, which is where the food is, and then an array of obstacles, which is the body of the snake. And this is kind of where this falls short because the obstacles change over time and it's, this approach is not completely smart to handle that. Um, this is pretty much a translation to that algorithm from the Wikipedia page. And so I don't think I'll explain it too much. Um, here's the part where we find the, the available, the, the candidate directions. And then if we find a candidate direction that's, that's in bounds and doesn't bump into anything, and we haven't discovered it yet, then we add it. Uh, we, pu we push it to our queue, and then we add it to our set of discovered values. Um, what else? This method here goes through, so I'm going to jump to the, the tree picture. So let's say you eventually get down to here, and you've, and you've found the food. So then you need to, to produce the sequence of directions, direction changes, that get you along that path. So this is what those parent uh, properties are for. 
Um, I think I'll show you a diff of the sketch. Okay, so this is where we were in lesson nine. And these are changes. Yeah, this change doesn't need to be here. I think I had another line of code in there, and that's why I have these braces here. What else? Auto set direction now instantiates one of these pathfinders, finds the shortest path. If it found one, it pulls the direction off the top of that and uses it. And we got to throw away a bunch of code that's replaced by the breadth first search. Okay, so not so much a lesson on how this all works, just making you aware of it. It's in the, it's in a branch that right now is called BFS hyphen driving if you want to go and play with it. See you next time.